yes, your boy Cheers African Appetite Bantu Belly out and about at the Ends Festival in Croydon. Supposed to have been headlined by Nipsey Hussle, but due to his untimely passing, now to be headlined by Nas. Just out and about trying to get something to eat, looking around, just seeing the normal fare, and just going to decide on what I'm going to do. <laughs> Yeah, we're here at the Ends Festival and uh, I'm just going to get something to eat. I think I'm going to get, I'm going to keep it real, I'm going to go with the vegan option. I think I'm going to get the, the Hustle Burger along with the mac and cheese side. So we'll see how this goes. Let's go. Let's do this. So I went for the Hustle Burger, which I saw was a good and fitting tribute to Nipsey Hustle. Um, being that this whole event was paying tribute to him and also the fact that it was 100% vegan and came with mac and cheese at a reasonable price. I saw a vibe and a, a general crowd around the brown this store that um, looked appealing and inviting and um, I wanted to get involved. There were, n not to mention, lots of other options uh, apart from the usual fare, um, Peruvian street food and as such. Um, but I really wanted to get stuck into this and um, see what this is all about, the Hustle Burger uh, with the mac and cheese and once again 100% vegan, so interested to see what the mac and cheese is like and the burger. As I waited patiently in line for my turn, it was clear to see I'd made the right choice in choosing the Hustle Burger. As I saw it being churned out, it looked like a meaty burger and the mac and cheese looked nice and cheesy. So I was interested to see how this would taste. And more importantly, I was hungry by this point and ready to fill my Bantu belly and satisfy that African appetite. I was also impressed by the workmanship of the people serving this out. They were clearly enjoying what they were doing and they were clearly had a system going where they were able to serve this out. I found the whole vibe around this store a refreshing advert for the evolution of vegan food and how far it's really come that a crowd can actually gather all seeking a vegan substitute for a popular fast food um, staple such as a beef burger and, and mac and cheese and um, yeah I just um, was interested to see what was to come all I had to do now was be patient and wait in line for my turn. That's me. Thank you very much. Have you got any barbecue sauce? Tastes like regular mac and cheese with like a tomato sauce on it. Mm. Very, very tasty. You wouldn't tell that it wasn't real cheese. Yeah, you couldn't tell it wasn't real cheese. And the tomato sauce is really nice. Let's have a look at the burger. In there, we've got it looks like some vegan cheese, some onions, some lettuce. Cool.
Yeah, that's a good level. Wow. Good to see you, mate. Top one. Yeah, man, I hear that. We're not going to go over there. Because I hear the old school over there still. When I'm walking in, I can hear that music and I'm thinking. That is a good burger. Like the trap or. That's probably the best okay. vegan burger I've ever had. That's why I'm saying I'm getting old. Wow. I do listen to that. Huh? But everything you want. Yeah, right. A bunch of the vegetables. Yeah, the sauce. You're Got a bit of a tang. Because it's nice. The actual patty is very meaty. I don't know what it is, what they've used, but I think it's beans. The prominent component is beans. Look at that. Because it's great and they say it's just packed. Packed with goodness. Wow. Because I'm a friend's fan. Excuse my friend. Yeah. That's still my band. Yeah, I think it was more of a beanie falafel um, base as opposed to a seitan um, or like a, a tofu base. This one here I think was based more on the sort of falafel sort of um, recipe, which is based more around the chickpeas and the beans and so forth. Very dense, uh, very packed in protein. It was very tasty the way they done it. Um, I don't know how they've perfected it, but they've they've got something going there, uh, and you'll see the link in the description down below. Beyond no illusion, these sisters and their skilled chef stuck to their vegan principles by creating the Hustle Burger in tribute to Nipsey Hustle. But as you can see, it's a very, very well thought of operation. There's a direct division of labor. Everyone seems to know exactly what they're doing. I love the slogan, life is good. And the fact that they've even got a time to bust a shuffle and bust a move. I'm loving it. Support these guys. <laughs> Love. Yo, we take it back to like cassette tape, cassette tape days. Anybody ever own a cassette tape out there? Cassette tape? Anybody out there, be honest, don't know what a cassette tape is. Oh, 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 oh,
African Appetite. Please share, like and subscribe. We appreciate your comments and support. Follow us on all social medias. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon to be notified of all my future videos on food, events and culture related issues. And remember folks, don't eat to live. Live to eat. Peace. Well, I